basics of factoring binomials. I am Anil Kumar and with the help of this video we will try to understand what is factoring and how should we do it. Write each binomial in product form. Factoring is writing sum or difference form into product form. So that is what we mean by factoring. If you remember you can write 12 as 3 times 4 3 times 4. 3 and 4 are factors of 12. So similarly in polynomials we have here sum of two polynomials or difference of two polynomials. It could be written as product of two polynomials and that process is called factoring. right? So writing in product form basically is factoring. So let us see how we can transform these differences or sums into product form. 2x minus 4y. As you can see, we have 2 common here. You can write this is 2x minus 4 could be written as 2 times 2 and then we have y. So as you can see here, 2 is a common factor. So we can take it out as a common factor. Take it out really means is if I write 2 here and open a bracket, then inside the bracket I have everything divided by 2, right? So if I divide 2x by 2, I get x. If I divide 2 times 2 times y by 2, I'm left with 2y minus 2y, correct? So this was just to show you how we picked up 2 as a common factor. So factor of 4s are 2 and 2. So we see between 2x and 4y, we have a common factor of 2. And this process is called factoring. And here we did factoring by taking out a common factor, right? So we can write down here as 2x minus 4y equals to 2 times x minus 2y. You can always check your answer if it is right or not. Product of 2 times x minus 2y should give you the original binomial. 2 times x is 2x and 2 times minus 2y is minus 4y. So that is correct. So it is reverse of distributive property, right? So that is what you have to think about while solving this question. So it is reverse of distributive property. So writing in product form, which is reverse of distributive property, is factoring. Now 6x minus 9y, x is a common factor and in 6 and 9 we know 3 is a common factor. So we can write this as 3 times x as a common factor. What remains is 6x divided by 3x is number 2 and 9x divided by 3x is number 3, right? So this is what remains. So that is what we'll write in the bracket, right? You can always solve, simplify it. Well you know, it is minus 1, so you get minus 3x in this particular case. 2 minus 3 is minus 3x, which is indeed the case. You could have done it directly also. But the idea is to learn the process of factoring. So that is how you factor. Now we have 15a minus 10ab. Here, a and a are common factors, and in numbers, we have 5 as common factor. So we can write this as 5 times a as a common factor. 15a divided by 5a will give us 3. 10 divided by 5 minus 10 will give us 2. a and a cancel out. You are left with b. So 3 minus 2b is the factored form of the binomial given to us. Let's do some more. So 5 plus 25a, 2m plus 6, 12 minus 8a. You can pause the video, do these questions and then check with my answers. 5 plus 25a, 5 is a common factor. If I take 5 as a common factor, what remains here? 5 divided by 5, which is number 1. So we get 1 plus 5a, right? Now here, 2 is a common factor, so we get m plus 3. And in this case, 4 is a common factor. 12 divided by 4 is 3, and minus 8a divided by 4 will be minus 2a. So that is the result, right? So that is how 
we can factor binomials, correct? Now, here are two practice questions for you. So, you can factor 6 minus, let me write 6a minus 12a square, right? So, we'll write g. And then we have one more, which is 9mn plus 12n, right? So, try to factor these two on your own following the method learn. I hope that helps. Thank you and all the best.